Have you ever chased after a guitar tone for a long time? given this guitar as a gift. This is kind of what I would play when I was pretending to be Tom Scholz with his gold top Les Paul. My oldest guitar, but it also has very noisy pickups. Switching to the Zion. Having the guitar was one thing, but I wanted to sound like Boston. I mean, who didn't, right? So you got the Rockman. Had one of those, came and went, all through the years, I've used Digitech, I've used, well, just about everything I have on my hands. I, the first thing I do is I always go for the Boston sound. So, got acquainted with THU over loud, actually TH3 from the Cakewalk version, and uh, played around with it. And while I couldn't get a Boston tone, I did like the overall layout of everything. So. I plunked down my cash, I'm not affiliated with Overloud at all, or even Boston, but uh, I got the THU, paid for it, and began tinkering with it. Here's one of the first ones I tried. Yeah, not exactly the sound I was going for. They got a picture of the EQ of Tom! Uh, well, uh, not... So, Overloud had an EQ. It has several EQs. I put the little little sliders where I thought they should go, and it had the mid-range sound, but so, you know, then there was this one. Especially kudos to the uh, filter chorus. Has that, you know, rock man kind of look. Surely this will take the sound better, right? Well, sure got the reverb. I thought I saw it said that Tom would take an amp and run it through another amp. Then I learned about something. Oh, this was really nice. The little settings on the amp themselves. And hello, the power soak. No, not that kind of power soak. Um, this one, I could change the voltage. So we tried it. times I just ended up liking it better over on the top end, but uh, hey, we're getting closer to the sound here. So I, you know, even called this the Rockman Power Soak, but you know, we're still getting there. There was supposed to be a wah in the picture, right? Okay, so I threw a wah, but wait a minute, it's a half cocked wah. So, well, I can do better. If one amp is good, now we gotta have two. <laughs> this is what I ended up with. This is what I liked. Um, the Tube Screamer or the Tube 9 uh, is in there. It can make a, a lead sound a lot better. I split the signal going through the half cocked wall. There are two uh, noise gates. I went with the overlouds here and uh, a little bit different coming off the Dimension chorus pedal. That kind of gave it a, that harmonizer sound that I heard Tom used in his rap. Let's throw that in there. Going through the heavy, that's pretty much almost dimed all the way across. And as far as the settings there, uh, the preamp, I <laughs> went through every single one of these. It was like, okay, which one am I going to like the best? I liked these two. They sounded good. And voltage regulator, uh, we're full blast on that. But uh, down here on this amp, this one, well, we dialed it back. Uh, you know, the regulator is about at two o'clock with these two tubes in there. All right, then we uh, run it through the mixer, through a cab. Gotta have the two, why not? <laughs> the two EQs, which believe me, it, it, uh, it, I think it sounds pretty good. And of course, chorus, reverb, and delay. What's it sound like? <laughs>
course, you know, <laughs> in Tom's case, he's layering guitars double, triple, quadruple, whatever 16 times is. So, I mean, he's coming up with some amazing tones. Left, right, separation, panning, all that crazy stuff. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to get close. Something that I noticed that I could not approximate with any of the other software that I tried, uh, Amp Sims, couldn't get the turning the volume down, that, that nuance of an amp. But this goes to take that, that edge off and suddenly there's just something about it, you know? So there you have it. Overloud THU full, my Boston sound. And you know, Tom, if you're watching, really like your tone. <laughs> and though I've tried to make this sound as good as I can, I'm sure I'm still missing it. But I'm trying to get close. Of course there, there's that second album, and that, that, that third album, the tone's a little bit different. Future video? Maybe. Thanks for watching.